Um, we'll, we'll hit some of these a little quick because we are at 30 minutes already. So we'll, we'll roll through. Uh, Half-Life 3, confirmed, E3, Shut 2021. Up. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> you heard it here first. Gather 5. You yeah, got yeah, the scoop. Yeah. You got the scoop. Nah, Indeed. so this is just real quick. Valve is uh, doing something at E3. Um, we don't know what it is. Uh, you know, obviously everyone's going to be like, Half-Life 3, this is it. But nah, uh, it's probably going to be a new headset, new uh, whatever. I think it'll probably be a new headset. Yeah, so I think they're going to be at the PC Game Show, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, you know, tune in. Does that, do they, I, I don't, I, I could see them. Brandon made a good point too, the uh, Half-Life Alex like, DLC or something. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be, I think it'll be either an Alex 2 or a spinoff of the Alex games or a new, like, wireless headset. I think it'll be both. I think, I think I it'll just, just do both and that'll be the reason for people who haven't bought one to buy one to play you it. Don't, you, you don't think they, I mean, they, they stated that making Alex, they were like, this is awesome. This is what we want to do. This was really fun. You don't think... They would ever just be like Half Life Three, bro. What's up? Nope. No. No. They don't make threes, bro. Never in the history have they ever made a three. That's fair, Infotris bro. Infotris one and two. Yep. Left for dead. One and two. One and two. Easy peasy. All right, then moving on. We we already knew Capcom was gonna be at E3, but they they did highlight real quick uh, a bunch of the stuff they're gonna be talking about. Uh, so we got the Monster Hunter Stories two, which is already a little bit showcase of the Summer Games Fest. Excuse me, Monster Hunters Rise, uh, Grand Ace Eternity. Uh, apparently, there's going to be more Resident Evil Village stuff. I, I got the game's already out, but who knows? Uh, and I know they got a couple other things, but that's going to be uh, two thirty Pacific. And I just wanted to bring it up. I heard they're doing a yeah. lingerie mod. Yeah, there is a lingerie mod. <laughs> oh gosh, there, there already is. I know. Oh no! Trust Moving me. on, big mommy yeah. milkers. I just wanted to bring that up at least, but we're Bam. we're done. We're done. We're done here. Anyway, next. Um, <laughs> This is like a rumor mill. We're going to enter the Justin zone here. Um, that Ubisoft is apparently working on a Tom Clancy PvP. Um, I, I don't know. It seems hilarious to me. Uh, I, the only reason I think it's interesting is because the person that tweeted it, all their the clips and videos and pictures just got voodoo bot uh, gone into the ether. But it, it makes sense because kind of weird, though. if you scroll down a little bit, you have the Elite Squad trailer from uh, Tom Clancy where we saw at one of the ubisoft things mm -hmm. um so they they're definitely doing cross cross play cross characters with their their brand so i could believe it um i would like to see more on this game because i don't even know what it is but i think it's it's cool that they're bringing together all of their like ips into a shooter the elite squad or you want to see more of the one that got bibu bop the elite squad because the bibu bop uh, is no, just a you, you don't, don't want to watch the elite squad you don't one. you don't want to it's yeah. mobile oh no it's mobile it's oh mobile. is it yeah 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 it's a mobile. Nah, i didn't know that i'm sorry but i can see moving back to the bibu bot one though that would be interesting because do, do you guys remember splinter cell i don't remember which one had a pvp mode and it was mm -hmm. fun where it was like the stealth dudes versus the 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 chads and it was super yeah. cool and i i remember playing that and it For was fun so that, that would be yeah. i mean that's that's already like siege but it's like a little bit like you know different well, it, so I, it's just it's funny because it makes it them bibu bop and this poor guy into oblivion kind of like suffices that rumor could be actually like this guy actually got a hold of something yeah, it validates it for sure yeah because if it was like oh look at these pictures and they just went oh okay and like didn't say a word about it and like let it sink it would have just disappeared into the ether like after a while but the fact yeah. that he was like look at these pictures and they were just immediately band hammered him then the yeah. Yeah. whoever got the saw it saw it and it was something this is something. My only fear, if they, they if they do like anything with the division, is it's just gonna take too long to kill people. Like, <laughs> like Josh and I could be on the other teams of each other. We just we just unloading like whole LMG mags. Like, I got you, I got you. It's like when you play with the like the neighbor kids. Like, I shot you. No, you did. I shot you. No, 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 you did. If they just if they just pulled the map from like the division, like I'd be okay with it because like the division maps were both pretty good. Granted, you couldn't go in every like every explorable thing, but couldn't go in any buildings, Justin. There were like you know, most there the were like two POIs. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. Uh, I just wanted to quickly talk about the playdate uh, handheld uh, because it you know it's been like delayed like fifteen times. Uh, it's crank. a handheld device. Yep, the crank yeah. one, boy. Uh It it did get a uh, pre order date for July, or they open. I'm sorry, in July, and it comes with a bunch of free games. Uh, it's 180 bucks, and they basically said uh, you pre-order it. The faster you pre-order it, the faster you're going to get one. Uh, it can sell out at any point. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, I, I think it's cool. To do that. Yeah, ba basically. It, it's just cool. We've talked about it a lot here. Like, every time I see something about it, I like to bring it up. Because I just think this kind of technology is interesting. Like, you literally just, like, flashlight. Uh, yeah, we did. We did talk about it two years ago. 
Yeah. Was it really two no, it wasn't. years ago? It was like it was when we first started because I was at the other yeah. apartment when we started. Man, that's yeah. that's yeah, cool. it was like our it was like our third episode, I think. I remember as we talked to it, we talked about it really close to the Atari hotel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm buck eighty for a hand crank. It's cool. Oh yeah, boy. but it's cool. Yeah, it's though. cool. Yeah, I, you know, yeah. But you know, just wanted to bring it up a little bit. Uh, skip the next one because we talked about Jurassic Park at the okay. game show. Um, oh, yeah, and then we are. He's gone. Yeah. Boom! 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 Yeah, so queen. Yeah, talk queen. about it, and then I've got the gameplay pulled up. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulled it up. This is just this is the just Josh's perfect game. Yeah, I, I think this is what the game needed, and the game came out for PC like you know last month. Uh, and modders already made it better. Uh, they basically made the horde sizes way bigger. So, you know, hordes before could go to 25 to 500. And they normally didn't. This new mod makes them go to 280 to 600 and stay that way most of the time. Uh, we have a little clip here. It's a little choppy that, from what I watched, but that's, you know, there's a lot going on Probably on the screen. Just the dude's piece, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's dying. A, there's yeah. a lot of characters on the screen for this. <laughs> yeah, so Holy I just character. think that's... I just think that 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 is something this game like I would replay it with that mod because the some hordes yeah were like thirty but that that is ridiculous and that is super fun and that is something that honestly they should have just made in a DLC like yeah, that, elite that, horde that, mode because good. all all this game did for their higher difficulty that they came out with after the game was make everything take more bullets which is not my cup of tea I don't yeah, like when they that's just not make a difficulty I, feature. Dude, you would literally shoot human characters. It would take four bullets. He and tries I, 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 to get on the motorcycle. Yeah, he's not having a he's not having a good time. So I just thought that was really cool. So that, if you're a Days Gone fan and really bummed that they're not making it too, like me, get it on PC. Get like look into the mods. Get something like that, which might you know revitalize it and at least make it something for you. Because you ain't getting it too. <laughs> Um, but yeah, last but not least, and this is just interesting. This isn't really gaming news per se, but I wanted to talk about it. Uh, so Netflix is joining the Summer Games Fest. Uh, it's their Geek Week, and they're featuring a bunch of trailers and reveals from shows and movies. A lot of people are just predicting The Witcher, Resident Evil. Um, they have the Dota anime that they did. I really recommend anyone watching it who hasn't, because that was crisp. And Netflix with animation, bro. They're coming for yeah. people. Like Every single one they've done, Blood American of Zeus, animation. Dota uh castlevania yeah. castlevania ended like i can't like it, the final season was ridiculous like the animation they literally went oh it's the last season all right triple the budget don't play like it was ridiculous um but yeah uh jeff Keighley announced uh netflix geeks week it's coming out it's gonna be cool it is uh june 11th um i'm definitely gonna peep it i'm when's that tomorrow i might be at work uh brandon's gonna peep it uh Ooh, and tell me everything head show <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely thinking it's going to be cool. I forgot about that. That would be dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that was low-key announced. Ah, it's going to be cool. You know what I mean? It's it's. Hopefully, The Witcher 2 gets an announcement date. It came out in December two years ago, so hopefully it comes out in December this year. I'm going to lose my mind that day because I'm going to binge it and die. <laughs> um, so I just thought that was interesting if you guys are fans of shows. I remember like, watching The Witcher twice in a row. In it was like- that good. A weekend because I watched it and then I was watching the last episode and Olivia comes in and is like, "What are you watching? I'm watching The Witcher. You know, it's about a game. It's like, oh, it looks pretty cool. It's like we could start over. Yeah. <laughs> like I remember seeing. Th- I don't think a show has been more of an a roller coaster. Like when The Witcher got teased, I was like, okay, bet I'm with it. It was Henry Cavill. I was like, ah, uh, right, whatever. And then the, the wig came out and I was like, oh shit, they're fucking. Oh no. And then like the set photo came him and I was like, ah, oh, I'm not really excited. Then the trailer came out and I was like. And then the show came out. And I was like, "Oh shit! Oh my god!" Yeah, I rewatched it like three times. So, and then I'm gonna watch it one more time before the whenever season two is gonna come out. Um, it was just a perfect, perfect show. I don't really have any critiques. I didn't read the books, so I know some people are like nitpicky on who's in the show and who's not that kind of thing. But I don't. Yeah, yeah it's it's pipe. a little mm-hmm. it's a little bit different than the books. But to be honest, it just gives you a reason to read the yeah. books, right? Like yeah. the the book the book it's based off of is actually just a collection of short stories that he yeah. wrote before actually writing the witcher like full novels so yeah it's it's a it's a cool but uh yeah let us know about that stuff what you think uh we were gonna do one other thing but i think we'll cut it with just like what we're hyped for e3 or do we want to do that and skip yeah. speed what do you guys want to do no we'll just uh we'll just run the speed run and we'll do that uh we'll do that like right before we do the uh e3 thing like we'll just do like a two minute like what are we hype for what we think we'll see okay bet. yeah